Three young women with learning difficulties are facing eviction from their Hampshire home. They've been dragged into a long-running dispute over a business debt owed by one of the women's mothers. Bridget McCabe bought a house in New Milton for her daughter Claire in 2009. Two years later, she filed for bankruptcy. Now two accountancy firms want to repossess the New Milton property to help recoup those debts. Rob Powell went to meet the family. It's disgraceful. It's horrible. It shouldn't be happening. Claire has lived in her home in New Milton for five years. She and her two housemates have learning and emotional difficulties and are looked after by a carer. But the property is owned by her mother, who declared herself bankrupt in 2011. It means that the accountants, Grant Thornton and KPMG, are repossessing the property to recover some of the debt. And as a result, Claire and her two housemates will be evicted. It's my home and they should, shouldn't just go after such vulnerable adults that need the support and living skills. We saw this house, we bought it with the sole intention of it being Claire's permanent home. Claire is a vulnerable adult. I wasn't going to put it straight into her name and let her cope with all the stress of being a homeowner. Bridget filed for bankruptcy after VIP.com, a company she owned with her husband, went into liquidation while owing money to BT. In a statement, BT said, We have been trying to recover £330,000 of unpaid telephone services purchased by telecoms reseller VIP.com for half a decade now. This is not the outcome we would have hoped for, but having made numerous attempts to resolve the issue with the owners of the company and exhausted all options, BT had no choice but to take legal action to try and recover this large debt. The McCabe say they will pay BT this money, but they say additional charges from Grant Thornton have caused the total debt to grow to around a million pounds, charges they claim have never been itemised. In a statement, Grant Thornton and KPMG said... The trustees had no option but to seek vacant possession and the court, having heard all the arguments and reviewed the evidence, has agreed that this is the appropriate course. The trustees have made every effort to realise their interest in the property without the need for evicting the tenants. The claim that the property in which the McCabe's daughter resides was held in an informal trust is at odds with statements made by Mrs McCabe where she has asserted that she received monthly rental payments in respect to the property. The Government Minister for Insolvency has now written to Grant Thornton asking for the McCabe's debt to be itemised. Claire is due to be evicted at the end of this month. Her parents will be evicted from their London home the week before. Rob Powell, BBC South Today in New Milton. Relief for hard-pressed...